Okay, um, in the previous uh, lecture, we talked about the different types of gears. Now, um, we are going to talk about the nomenclature of uh, a gear. Let's say uh, that this is a spur gear uh, that has uh, these, uh, we have just taken two teeth uh, from, from, uh, from the drawing of a spur gear. So this is, let's say that this is a spur gear that has these two teeth, which is uh, this one, uh, and uh, then uh, the this is the second tooth. And let's say that these two are consecutive teeth with the rest of the portion of the gear uh, down there. Okay. Now, um, <clears throat> first of all, uh, if we look at uh, the the gear so as as seen in this figure uh, if this is one tooth and this is uh, the second tooth right so first of all uh, what i would say is that if if this is the thickness of the tooth So, uh, this portion of the tooth is known as the top land. So, if you look over here, this is the top land of the, the tooth, right? So, uh, that is the top land of the tooth. And if you look down here um, to this portion, this is known as the bottom land of the tooth. Now, <clears throat> um, this, if we take um, uh, a circle that passes through the top land, that circle is known as the addendum circle. And if we take a circle that passes through this bottom land, that would be known as the dedendum circle. <clears throat> also, let's say that there is a circle that we talk about and that circle is known as the pitch circle which is marked over here so this is the pitch circle of the gear now what is a pitch circle generally when we talk about pitch circle we define it as let me write it down uh, pitch circle is a theoretical circle on which all the all the rest of the calculations are based or they are referred to this pitch circle so basically it is a reference circle but what is this reference circle it is basically a circle when when two gears mesh with each other in such a way that if we remove the teeth of these gears and let's say that uh, we come up with a, with a disc, which represents this one gear. And then there is another gear with which it is meshing. So these circles that are tangent to each other, they are known as the pitch circles. And how does it, this happen that since there are teeth, so the teeth basically go this way in in a in a gear and uh, and so on uh, the teeth on this one will be uh, here like this so now if this is the addendum circle this is the dedendum circle 
the pitch circle is in between the addendum and addendum circle so this is this is basically the pitch circle and if another gear mesh with this gear there is going to be a circle that would go like this which will be tangent to this circle right so this will be the pitch circle of the gear that is meshing with this one so both of these pitch circles are going to be tangent to each other now <clears throat> if we um, look over here the um, if we look over here the radial distance between the pitch circle and the top land or the addendum circle that is known as the addendum and it is denoted by a similarly the radial distance between the uh, pitch circle and the addendum circle is known as the addendum and it is denoted by b now the <clears throat> um if you if you uh, look further uh, if we measure the thickness of a tooth on the pitch circle that is known as the tooth thickness so this will be the tooth thickness over here uh, and the tooth thickness if you look at the tooth thickness it is thin over here and thick over here so uh, basically as as i said that all the other dimensions of the teeth are referred to uh, the pitch circle so therefore uh, the thickness of the tooth that is measured on the on the pitch circle is known as the tooth thickness no nowhere else similarly if we measure the gap between the two teeth on the pitch circle that is known as the width of space so there is space between uh, these two teeth which is the gap between these two teeth and another te uh, gear when mesh with it the tooth of that other gear is going to come over here and and uh, and uh, basically uh, mesh with this gear uh, in such a way that they are for example let, let's say if this is another um, if this is another um, gear so this is how its uh, tooth is going to mesh with it and it will have a pitch circle uh, which will go like this so this is going to be the pitch circle of the meshing gear this is the pitch circle of the meshing gear now uh, so so these two uh, these two uh, gears are going to mesh uh, when the pitch circles uh, come tangent to each other right now uh, as far as um, <clears throat> the other dimensions are concerned so we got this one actually now what is the pitch circle uh, sorry what is the circular pitch the circular pitch is the sum of the tooth thickness and the width of space so if we add these two the tooth thickness and the width of space that is known as the circular pitch now um, <clears throat> let's say uh, the, actually this uh, the, the 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 gear into the into this uh, writing board if we look at this this is known as the face width so what do we call this this is this this dimension will be the face width now uh, the, the 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 portion of the tooth that is above the pitch circle that is known as the face and below the pitch circle to till the bottom land that is known as flank okay so we got addendum circle addendum addendum 
टूथ थिकनेस वर्थ ऑफ स्पेस अच्छा जी इफ यू लुक ओवर हियर द टूथ डज दो रियली वेन यू मेक दिस द टूथ इज गोइंग टू बी देर इज गोइंग टू बी अ शार्प कॉर्नर हियर वी डू नॉट लीव दैट शार्प कॉर्नर हियर एंड फिल इट दैट सो द a fillet that you provide over here that is known as uh, the fillet uh, radius right because uh, we don't want sharp corners um so acha ji now <clears throat> let's define uh, something else which is no which is called clearance now what will be the clearance dekhe uh what is this if if this is uh, the the gear that is meshing with uh, with this gear uh this portion of the gear yahan pe agar aap dekhe uh basically this portion of the gear is the addendum right and this portion of the gear is the addendum okay now uh um, <clears throat> let's say what will be addendum and dedendum for the meshing gear the addendum and dedendum for the meshing gear is agar aap yahan pe dekhe to this is basically the addendum of the meshing gear and the dedendum of the meshing gear is over here from here to here now let's say that there is difference between when when this gear mesh with each other so this is the pitch circle now yahan pe if you pay attention this is the dedendum of the first gear that we have and this is the addendum that goes into the dedendum of the first gear when it meshes so if there is difference between this b and a that will be known as clearance right so what will be clearance uh, clearance will be c let's say if we denote that by c that will be equal to b minus a ya a minus b theek hai ji so what is uh, a minus b basically uh, a minus b is the amount that the dedendum of a gear exceeds the addendum of the meshing gear ठीक है द अमाउंट बाय व्हिच द द रिडेंडम ऑफ ऑफ अ गियर एक्सीड्स द एडेंडम ऑफ द मैशिंग गियर ठीक है जी सो दैट इज क्लीयरेंस नाउ हियर वी विल आल्सो डिफाइन वन मोर थिंग एंड दैट इज नोन एज द बैकलैश नाउ व्हाट इज बैकलैश देखिए uh this portion of the gear is called the width of space and if we look at the the gear that is going to mesh with it this portion for uh, the for the gear will be the width of uh, uh, the the tooth thickness for the meshing gear so uh what will be backlash backlash will be basically uh the width of space space minus the tooth thickness of the first gear so uh, let's say this is the first gear and this is the second one so uh, the, uh, the it will be the difference between the width of space and the tooth thickness of two meshing gears so uh, backlash is is not a good thing because it will uh, since there is a gap so what what will happen that it will be very noisy uh, when when uh, when these um, um, gears come in uh, contact with each other during meshing it is going to produce noise and there is going to be play between the two uh, gears gear teeth right so um, this was all about uh, the terminology now uh, 
<clears throat> in these terms, uh, what, what we can see over here is let's uh, let's define some more terms. Uh, where this uh, uh, P is the diametral pitch and how do we define the diametral pitch that this will be the number of teeth divided by the diameter of the gear. Now when we say diameter of the gear, diameter of the gear will always mean the pitch diameter of the gear. So this is the diametral pitch. Now we define another term which is known as module. So module is the reciprocal of this diametral pitch uh, um, um, th th that is D by N. So what is this? This is basically the number of teeth uh, per inch because this is the N is the number of teeth divided by diameter and M is the reciprocal of that, right? So um, <clears throat> if, if, uh, um, uh, if we look at um, the circular pitch, okay, what did we have in the circular pitch? The tooth thickness, then gap, the tooth thickness and then gap. So this is going to go all through all the circumference. Now, can I say that um, uh, um, P, small p, which is known as the circular pitch, circular pitch, this circular pitch is going to be the pi d which is the circumference ji, or 2 pi r divided by the number of teeth ji. so this is going to be my circular pitch p now i can see over here that this uh, thing here this d by n is m so instead of that um, as i said that um, uh, i can write this as uh, pi m, right? Or um, I can also say that since m uh, capital P is the reciprocal um, uh, of, uh, of m or m is the reciprocal of P, I can uh, go ahead and write over here that this uh, m will be equal to pi over P, right? Uh, so P is equal to pi over P or I can say that P times p is equal to pi. So uh, remember this relationship that the diametral pitch multiplied by the circular pitch is equal to pi because um, the gear is a circular uh, wheel that has teeth on it. So uh, this is going to be your, uh, your gear and uh, this relation should hold for this, for, uh, for this gear. Uh, these are different tooth sizes um, in, in general use. Um, uh, the diametral pitches for uh, some standard um, gears where there are coarse and then there are fine. So uh, uh, like for example, two, 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 one by four, two and a half. Um, then uh, there are some modules for uh, for these preferred, uh, you know, there are preferred choices and then if these are not available, then these are the next choices. Now, what does a module give you? Module basically uh, gives you physically, what does a module give is that it's, it basically gives you a feeling of uh, the size of the tooth um, of a gear. Uh, why? Because, uh, because we define module as D by N. So it, will, it is basically the amount, uh, if, we, if we rewrite that equation, uh, it is D by N. So it is inches per tooth. Uh, that how many inches does a tooth occupy? Uh, basically, it gives you a feeling of, of the size of the of the tooth. So if M is more, that would mean that the tooth is bigger in size. And if M is less, that means that the tooth is, uh, um, uh, is small in size. Uh, again, these are some um, standard tooths. Uh, in standard tooth system, uh, these are, um, they, they are, there is a full depth uh, and there is a stub that does not go all the way. 
<coughs> down uh, we will define what pressure angle is um, so uh, in, in this standard table the pressure angle is uh, basically um, uh, pressure angle can be 14 and a half but this one is this is almost obsolete um, right now the pressure angle um, goes from 20 degrees to 25 degrees and we will discuss what um, this is the standard range for uh, uh, for uh, pressure angle and as I said that uh, 14 and a half is also in use but we, we will talk about that now it generally in in standard sizes addendum is equal to 1 over P so um, uh, or it is equal to module 1 times M um, over here so and also dedundum is uh, 1.25 over p or 1.25 times m so these are just standard uh, standard values that we use for the addendum and dedundum of uh, of a gear uh, and other dimensions for 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 a gear um, in in the standard sizes uh, now uh, common uh, pressure angle as I, I just talked that it is from 20 degrees to 25 and old pressure angles um, they are uh, 14 and a half. Uh, commonly the face width uh, would, um, would be uh, between uh, these uh, values or it will be between these values um, um, for making a, um, a um, a gear uh, 